we have never, ever, ever had a travel day as crazy as this one. We're Matteo and Misha. In our last episode, we told you how we moved back to Italy and announced our ultimate Italian road trip. In today's video, we're showing you what it's like to travel internationally to Italy in 2021. We finished packing up our life into a few bags, said a very, 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 very sad goodbye to the family pets, and then some more sad goodbyes before heading on our way. So we got our COVID test results back at 3 a.m. this morning. So here we go. So we flew from Durban, South Africa to Doha, Qatar. And the Durban airport was pretty empty as we were the only international flight that day. Durban is a pretty small airport and all the shops and restaurants were surprisingly still open. The check-in counter was exactly the same and all the desks were operating as normal, with the major difference only being the COVID restrictions in place. So a massive change about the check-in process is that they are being super strict about the travel visas and requirements for your destination country. They check the validity of absolutely everybody flying. They take passports and verify you are legal to enter at the border you are arriving at. You have to have your COVID results printed and your visas printed. They will absolutely not let you on the plane if you do not have the appropriate entry visas for your destination country and a negative COVID test result. Now after check-in and before security, there was one more check. We had to fill out an airport exit screening health questionnaire saying that we we're feeling fine and we're in perfect health and they also took our temperatures. Then they scanned our tickets and we went through security. Thank you very much. At our gate, they spaced people out with the social distancing circles. Thank you, have a pleasant flight guys. But when we got on the flight, it was absolutely packed, which left no room for social distancing. However, there were a few differences, such as they gave us protective kits, which included a mask, hand sanitizer, and gloves. This is the most chaotic chicken we've ever had. It took about two hours. I almost didn't get let on this flight, so we'll explain that one soon. The food on the airplane was exactly the same, but they don't hand out menus anymore and all the flight attendants were wearing masks, gowns, gloves, and glasses. The Doha airport was much busier than the Durban airport, and we were actually surprised to see so many people flying internationally. Things seemed to be operating pretty normally, again, just with the normal COVID restrictions in place, like masks, hand sanitizers, and social distancing. The flight from Doha to Milan was pretty empty. I would say definitely less than half capacity. Plus they had all the middle row seats open, so that really helped with social distancing on the plane. We had to fill out another health form for the Italian authorities while we were on the plane, which the flight attendants collected from us before we landed in Milan. So we finally landed, but we just have to wait for the immigration officer to clear the plane and make sure that everybody's legal to get off. When we disembarked the plane, they checked this paper and our passports. They then had another counter before border control. This is where we handed in our self-declaration forms that we had to fill out before we flew. And the line went shockingly fast. Only then did we go through border control, which was practically empty. They had those normal digital machines which scanned our passports and checked our identity. 
After that, Michelle got her passport stamped and that was it. Grazie mille. <laughs> they didn't ask any other questions and all we had to do was fetch our bags and we were free to leave. They did not give any instructions on quarantine or anything. And it's entirely up to you to abide by the proper procedures that the government has set in place. This meant that we had to notify our local health department of our arrival, fill out the passenger locator form online, and also get another COVID test after the 10 days of isolation. So we've made it to Milan. This is my brother, Jess. What's up? We have to take a private vehicle to his house and order to quarantine for 10 days. The new rules in Italy is that you have to be picked up in a private vehicle and you cannot take public transport. We did our 10 day quarantine at my brother and sister in law's house. Welcome! I love this it's so much. On our way to go get our antigen COVID test, and then if it's negative, we get to leave the house. So we just finished our COVID test after our 10 days of isolation, and we're <laughs> negative. Now, fun little story that I promised in our last episode was how I almost didn't get let on our flight. I actually had papers from the Italian consulate in South Africa stating that I'm moving to Italy with Matteo, so I'm allowed entry because I'm relocating with my husband. So when I gave the Qatar check-in people my papers from the consulate, they said on their end, it says spouses aren't allowed in Italy. And I was like, but I have the papers from the consulate and I checked the government website and it says they are. And they said, sorry, we're not seeing it on our end. And then my heart sank way down into my stomach and I seriously thought this whole next chapter of our lives was about to grind to a halt. So the lady took my passport, took the papers from the consulate that I had and told us to move away from the check-in counter, stand on the side while she went and called either the Italian authorities or somebody on the other end to get an answer. I can't remember how long we were standing on the side of the check-in counter, but it felt like forever. And then at some point she came back and she just said, it's fine. At which point I felt the weight of the world lifting off my shoulders. We went back to the check-in counter, finished up our check-in process, and we were good to go. In our next episode, we show you what it was like to fly domestically in Italy in 2021.